Hi guys. Hey, I uh, thought I would update my video a little bit on uh, how to protect yourself in your home. Uh, I didn't get too much response from my last video, so I thought maybe it didn't really serve a purpose, but I've been getting outside uh, comments now outside Facebook, and I know people are actually doing some of the things I recommended, and so I wanted to fill in a few holes and that I didn't talk about before. One of them is mail. Uh, bringing anything in the mail, in the mail from the house is, it's dry, it's paper, but it's still a 24 hour rule. So I'm gonna recommend that you, you have a box, some container, preferably out in the garage somewhere, uh, where you just drop your mail in when you get it for 24 hours and then go wash your hands. So you actually won't read this mail until the next day. So uh, if you do have to read it, obviously you can, and then wash your hands, but there's no reason for us to all stay home and then let things come in our house that could be carrying this virus. Another thing I didn't talk about was jewelry. You'll notice I, I'm not wearing anything on my hands, and I haven't been for three weeks. My wedding rings, anything. Uh, the reason I'm not doing that is because it's much easier to wash my hands and my nails uh, to make sure I clean without trapping something under a ring. My ring's pretty wide, particularly, and that would make it more apt to trap something. Now that doesn't mean that I can't wear jewelry. You know, I just, if you wanna wear jewelry, you know, focus on your neck, your ears, uh, that sort of thing. You can still look nice. Washed my hair this morning, took a shower, got dressed. You know, I just wanna take this time to encourage you to do that. You know, if we're gonna live in close quarters, let's be attractive, let's be clean, let's wear deodorant, um, let's smell good. Um, let's have clean hair. I know your moms are so busy with kids at home, but just keeping your hair clean, even if you don't have time to style it, um, putting on some lip gloss, anything like that, just really makes the rest of the day go better. I also recommend you make your bed. Uh, I know a lot of people think that's old school, but you know, they say if you can't control anything in your day, start out with something you can control and getting back in bed to a nice tight clean bed, sheets washed every week. Those things just make being at home so much nicer. So just think about things like that that you can do. The other thing I wanted to talk about was masks. And uh, we did get, someone brought us a, a package of two better masks. These are the, the correct masks to wear. Now these are designed for people taking care of infected people. So, you know, we all know that you, you need the very best mask that you can with the filter on it for that. I'm not taking care of anyone who's sick. I just don't wanna have a aberrant virus hit me in the face while I'm walking outside my home or going for a walk with someone. If you are gonna go for a walk with someone, I recommend you wear a mask. Even if you have distancing, you forget, people kind of, you know, what'd you say? And they, they, they get too close, just a little spittle or anything from their mouth. Could, uh, even if they're asymptomatic, that means they're not sick, they could still be carrying the virus. So I would suggest you wear it. Now, I think, I think the United States did not encourage us to wear masks because there wasn't enough to go around. And we all know that the medical profession needs them, our first defense, they need the masks. So I think it's very wrong to go out and hoard masks but you can make your own mask now for our purposes. Uh, you can even make the kind that very simple uh, pattern that has a little pocket in it where you can put a filter, even folded up paper towel would help create barriers for that. So make your own mask. If you have a mask, I'm gonna show you one reason they don't recommend we have masks and that's because people do not wear them correctly uh, and they touch their face. Here's a common thing you see. Okay, now I have on my mask and I'm doing something and my nose itches. You just, you just, contam you just contaminated your mask there. You also want to hold it by the edges and like I recommended in my other video, if you didn't see it, it was a much more comprehensive video. I would hang these outside uh, in the garage or somewhere for three days and try not to use them again for three days once you've been out in public. Uh, I think this is really crucial for people who are checking our groceries, uh, 
anyone who's coming in constant contact with those of us that have to be out, that have to have to go out, you know, re they really need the protocol of how to use these. So any kind of mask, if you don't have these best kind that are meant for the hospital, any kind of face covering, even a bandana they're saying is better than nothing. So, but then you can't touch your face. You cannot touch your face. If you do, just go with it. Just wash your hands good and hang your mask up and hope you remember the next time. Um, well, I think that's about it. I just want everybody to know that I'm not baking. I don't spend my whole time in baking. That was just one freaky night when I was having cabin fever. Got in 8,000 steps yesterday. And uh, I hope you're all doing well. And please comment on this if it was helpful uh, or if you watch the other video. Uh, I don't mind doing these videos, but not if <clears throat> they're not doing any good. So let me know. God bless and take care.